Hey folks, welcome to Equivalent Fractions. In this video, we're just going to be looking at what are some of the other equivalent fractions to the following numbers given here. So without further ado, let's get started. So now if you've been following uh, the previous video in this series, you will actually know that I did an intro to equivalent fractions. So with that in mind, and I hope you've actually watched it. If not, uh, just go back and check it on the playlist. But basically, we're just giving another equivalent fraction that is actually the same as four fifths. So to do this, you can literally multiply the numerator and denominator by any number. But the key thing is the numbers have to be the same for them to be an equivalent fraction. So I'm going to multiply by five just, you know, randomly. Uh, and what I'm going to get here is in the numerator, I'm going to get 20 and in the denominator, I'm going to get 25. And now looking at uh, question B, really, 6 over 9. Uh, and again, we can actually multiply by any number. So in this one, I might try num times it by 10 for the numerator. And for the denominator, I'm also going to multiply by 10. So in this case, I'm going to get 60 over 90. Now you might be wondering, hang on, you know, for the let's go back to question A here. What if I decide to do another number? All right, and you're allowed to do that because if you say you had a four fifths there, and you decide I'm going to multiply the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4, then you're going to get 16 over 20. So basically, 16 over 20, 20 over 25 is all the same as 4 over 5. Uh, let's look at question uh, C here. So with C, what we're going to do is, I don't know, let's try maybe 6 here. All right. So we're going to try 6 for the numerator and denominator, which means we're going to get 18 over 42. So all it's saying is that 3 uh, over 7 is the same as 18 over 42. Um, 4 over 11. Now you might be asking, hang on, can we actually um, multiply by, uh, what do you call it, uh, decimals? I mean, I think, you know, if you multiply by decimals, you're still going to end up with a fraction anyway. So it wouldn't really matter. But in this case, um, you know what, let's, I'm not going to multiply by decimal, but let's try something like, I don't know, 6. Okay, let's go 6. And so in this case, we're going to get 4 times 6, which is 24, and then 11 times 6, which is equal to 66. So as you can see, this is just a really quick little short, um, short video for um, equivalent fractions. Uh, just to kind of show you that anytime you have a fraction, uh, if you want to get an equivalent fraction, all you got to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number and you should have an equivalent fraction. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.